What's good, everyone? It's your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again with another one. <laughs> yeah, y'all see it, you know what I'm saying? Got a little fresh and fit in the joint tonight, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Real talk. Shout out to them. You know, we all know who Fresh and Fizz is, you know what I'm saying? They, they always doing their thing over there, you know, making it happen. Real talk. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got Charleston White in the joint. And, uh, yeah, you know, from the broadcast room, we about to, you know what I'm saying, let's see what's happening, you know what I'm saying? But uh, first of all, I'm going to do my due diligence, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all, you know, uh, uh, shout out to the bottom line squad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, real talk. You know, mad love to all my subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Please hit that like, share, subscribe button at all times, you know. Make it happen for real, you know, make it happen for real. But yeah, though. Know, so, you know, let's get into it. Let's see what's happening. And of course, as all times, we're going to put these quarters, nickels, and dimes in on the times. All right? Well, some of your freedom. The problem is that modern-day women think, oh, I want to still be free and, you know, out there and doing whatever I want while still having a traditional man at home that's going to take care and support me. That's not how it goes. If you want a traditional man that's going to have all the duties and roles that you want him to be, breadwinner, authoritative, decisive, assertive, dominant, masculine, etc. Well, you need to be a feminine woman in return. And being a feminine woman in return means not having and courting guys around that are friends when we know that they t want to have sex with you. Because women don't bring much utility outside of sex. No offense. 100% agree with you. If men actually provided those, like you say, um, traits, sure, um, providing for you, taking care of you, going out to dinner, buying you gifts, flowers, all that. Oh, honey, don't work. Sure. Oh my God. I'll be yours and only yours, honey. But if you go half and half with a girl <laughs> and you tell her what to do and you tell her what friends to have, I'm sorry, it's okay. just not gonna work. Okay. So, so that's what it is. Yeah, it makes sense. to take care of her. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I don't want a guy living in my house telling me what to do. Uh, understand? Uh, man, sure. what do I tell y'all, man? This is why you guys gotta get your fucking system. money on oh, point, bro. Thank you. You gotta get your money on point, whatever. Yeah. Because here's the thing: it costs to be the boss. Yeah, it does. And thank you. Not only that, but like what I've come to realize is because you gave a lot of you know what I call feminist propaganda garbage. No offense to you, <laughs> um, but right. typically. The more egalitarian, equal you are with your girl, the more she's going to say, well, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to be free. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to be independent, blah, blah, blah. Like. The okay. Let me go here real what quick. What the French toast is there to think about? Now, to enlighten this situation a little bit further. <laughs> you know, uh, yes. And y'all heard this young lady just say what she had to say. <laughs> real talk. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I definitely understand where she's coming from. You know what I'm saying? But she's also a Caucasian one, young lady. So due to the fact of, you know, the way that the situation is going in this country and the way that it's been going, due to who's been in power since this country has been founded, what the, the way that it's been founded. About? Let's not forget history. History also adds up to what to what she's saying. So yeah, she could talk that talk because her ancestors, you know, she could be some kin to George Washington for all we give enough, for all we know. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, her ancestors been actually running the country, like talking about, you know what I'm saying, for a very long time. Black people have not, okay? Let's just go there. What? Within the black community, both black men and women had to work. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what you talk about. In mass, both black men and women had to work to provide for their households. What is there to think about? Now, yes, we're living in, in this day and time and things like that. And it, it, the illusion is that it seems like it, it's it's just so easy to get hold to this, you know, uh, $500,000 uh, no, a year job that you that you feel like your man should have. And what the French toast is there to think about? But I'm going to tell you something, too. A man that's making that type of money has certain stipulations. I mean, every every man that's making money and provide for his own house. If a man owns his own home, regardless of what status he at, if he owns his own home, and, and what the French toast is there to think about? And I'm talking about he's paying his own bills. <laughs> then he is the king of his castle. What the hell are you talking about? And what the French toast is there to think about? Hold up, about? here we go. 
don't know whether you know this or not, but you only have your fucking casino because I made that possible. I'm what counts out here. Not your fucking country clubs or your fucking TV shows. And what is your damaged muscle head? You stupid? You ignorant? Or you just plain old deaf? And we just trying to find out. And what the French toast is there to think about? Let's keep going a bit. The more successful you are, the less likely that is going to come in, especially if you have frame. If you're just a rich simp, then that's one thing. But, yeah, you know, OK, that's fine. Interesting. Uh, what about you? Uh, disagree or agree? And the question before was um, having guy friends. It can only be gay. Agree or disagree? Or do you um, believe that you can have guy friends as well? I actually agree because like in our day and age, it's like an untold monogamous relationship that we have between each other. And I mean, it's dependent on the age. Like if we're younger, then nah, you can, I don't know why, excuse me. I don't know why you tripping with that girl. I don't know why you over there with that girl, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But, and you know, I will be respectful as well. Not have friends that are guys. If if they go to my school, then obviously, you know, me and my boyfriend will be friends together with those guys. But okay. if it's like an adult relationship, um, most likely we'll, we'll be either like, you know, either having our own place, you know, or living together, just having a, a career, you know, probably kids or something. There's no need for friends because you already have your life settled with that person you know what i'm saying and if you are like in a probably like young adult relationship where you guys don't have kids or whatnot there's nothing else to prioritize then prioritize on each other because it's just like so you agree in general yeah basically okay. if if there's two adults in the room and they are attractive they're basically going to fuck each other if it's if it comes to at it. some point you know what i'm saying at some point yeah so it's just you know it's not an insecurity thing. It's more of like a trust thing. I trust you, baby. I just don't trust that that girl. You know what I'm saying? That's what and, we say. Right, <laughs> right. Which yeah. is which is good. I understand you should have trust in your partner, but you know. I disagree. I could. Hey, listen, look. It's also about not putting yourself in in certain situations. Listen, if you if you know good and damn well. That you don't that you don't do blow, or you don't do any of these drugs or anything like that. Then why the hell you gonna hang out with people that do drugs? And what the French toast is there to think about? I mean, I'm am, am I wrong? Somebody tell me something. I'm just I'm just asking a question right now. If you if you don't do drugs, why are you hanging out with people that do drugs? Like I mean, I'm just asking a question. It makes no logical sense. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like a rocket scientist hanging out with a a, a a bomb on the street. I mean, they got nothing in common. Well, what the French toast is there to think about? You can trust women to be women, which is women are emotionally <laughs> erratic, not really very compulsive. Do what feels right versus what is right. Um, there's a reason why we tell men do what's right. We tell women do what's right for you because we tend to live in this world nowadays where feelings and being happy overrides everything. And a lot of times a girl will cheat and then rationalize and say, I wasn't happy in the relationship or it just happened, blah, blah, blah. And I think this is why so many guys end up in situations where the relationship is compromised because they didn't have boundaries. They didn't have standards. They let their girl do whatever she wanted. You know, she one drink leads to another. She's out with her single girlfriends. Oh, he's a bum anyway. You do what you want to do. They, you know, enable her bad behavior. I always say single girlfriends are the worst thing for a relationship. And then bam, next thing you know, she's sucking some dudes dick in the bathroom. So I think I trust women to be women, which is compulsive, bad decision makers, and typically don't and typically need the leadership of a man. Misogyny. I, okay. Hey, and that's just the real. That's just the real. Hold on, I'm gonna move it a little bit more further. You know what I'm saying? Let me uh go here. And let's go. Homeowners, if you are tired of paying too much money know. for electricity. Hold on, here we go. Alright. Hearing y'all's perspectives, it's probably the one he lies to because he cares about her feelings enough to lie to her and mislead her. He don't give a fuck about the girl that he's fucking and telling that he's fucking other people. Just because he knows that she's gonna keep fucking him and she's gonna keep doing what he wants and he can act any kind of way, but he knows with the girl that he's lying to that like 
he has to uphold certain standards to keep her. So would you say that women can handle the truth or no? Hell no, they okay. can't. Well, That's crazy well, to say. Because a lot of women are going to say, just tell me the truth. So what the French toast is there to think about? <laughs> You know what? Let me tell you. You can't date guys that got money. How does that sound? What? See how stupid that sounds? See how retarded that logic is? It's in our it's, it's in our nature. When God designed, when God said, okay, I want to make male and female. And he said, I'm gonna give females these characteristics and traits. He said, I'm going to give males these characteristics and traits. Bust nuts all day. So the two strongest desires that about every that. male human has is his desire to eat food and to have sex. Mm -hmm. When a guy gets a degree, it has to do with him eating food and having sex. When a guy's working out, brushing his hair, getting a haircut, it all revolves around to having <laughs> sex. So as he matures and gets older, he starts having goals, aspirations, desires, and plans, which gravitates away from fucking all day long. Right. He has to have business proposals. He has to go to his business meeting. Right. So he no longer think about fucking all the time. Right. But that drive is still there. So throughout his entire life, he's wrestling with this desire to eat and have sex on top of fulfilling goals. So, sex. And that's just the biz, though. That's just the biz. Now you, now you've gained the access into the world and the mind of a man. This is the point. Yes, once once men get to that point to where we have goals and aspirations and things that we want to do, or hobbies or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Hold on. My bad. Wrong one. But when we get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we uh we we work different. Our brains work different. We do evolve as well. You know, but a lot of women tend to think that men actually have no brain cells for some odd what reason. The toast is there to think about. Most women think men's are or men are fucking the dean bats. When in all reality, it's the other way around. I don't know whether you notice or not, but you only have your fucking casino because I made that possible. I'm what counts out here. Not your fucking country clubs or your fucking TV shows. Right. Right. All right. Here we go. Let's see. I'm going to move this up just a bit. Hold on. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? Uh... I'm capturing a little something here, but uh, yeah, you know, shout out to Fresh and Fit, real talk. I mean, this is so strong here. Like, you guys just don't want to admit that women can handle the truth in general. Like, I mean. It's also the other way around. We can't either. If I was no. fucking yeah, on the side and come back eat. to you, hey, I was fucking this guy for a year. Would you still stay with me? No, no you no. couldn't? This is what we know. Man, y'all love each other if y'all fucking for a year. Exactly. Yeah. We fucking her for right. a year. Right. Right. Take sex. But why, why would I stay with you for a whole year then? Uh, because you have some value that the other guy doesn't have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, women, only prostitutes can fuck without feelings, and even a prostitute <laughs> develops some feelings. Hey, hey. Cause what the French toast is there to think about? And let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? From a from an ex cat that ran the streets and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been involved in these situations and 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 D boy and pimping and all of this. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you something right now. This is the God sign of truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, even even a, even a girl of the night. At the end of the day, if you the right if you the right type of dude, and you come around, regardless of whether goddamn it you a trick or not. You know what I'm saying? She. Is. I'm telling you. So what the French toast is there to think about? Don't happen often. Don't get it. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, though, you know, I done seen shit, man. I just seen shit. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Women's nature's for real, though. A woman can't have sex with you too long without having some type of emotional for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're pouring into her cup. 
And her cup is her validation. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the reality of the situation. If she sleep with the same trick more than twice, she's going to develop some feelings for that trick. <laughs> a man can sleep with a woman he hates and dislike her soul and still get a hard on for her. <laughs> I mean, literally lay down and make love to her as if he love her. And he bust her nuts. Kiss her, do all this with her as if he love her and hate her. A that woman cannot crazy. do that. A woman can, because men are really sexual at the end of the day. We're not, we're not loving. Uh, we're not emotional. We're really sexual beings. A female are also uh, very sexual. It's just men are emotionless is what it is. Men, yeah. men are like polygamous then. No, no, no. Hold up. So what the French toast is there to think about? It's not that men don't have emotions and things like that. It's just that we have to put our emotions into such a situation, uh, into a bottle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or, you know, in, into a, a lockbox, a safe, and things like that in order to, you know, maintain the situation at hand so we can keep leading the family where the fuck it's supposed the to go. What the is there to think about? And that's just how it goes down. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it goes down. Let me, you know what I'm saying? I'm move this up a little bit further. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? For real though. And that's just how it goes down. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit there and, you know, try to, you know, a man's emotions. We don't need to express emotions to you. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. You know, we need your emotional energy. You don't necessarily need our emotional energy. Two hours. That's For all real we need though. to teach you how to confidently attract the women that you... Okay, whatever. Here we go. Let's go. Understandably, you're upset, but like, it, it, it's, it's in its nature. Like, that's what he really is, deep down. I, 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 right. I want you... I used to tell my woman this. Man, don't worry about what a man doing when he's not with you. Stop worrying about what I'm doing away from the house. You focus on being a better woman. You, if you think I'm doing this, you focus on making you a better woman. Stop worrying about what I'm doing away from you because a man is going to be a man and I'm going to be a man. I need you to be a woman. And women don't worry about what men doing. Not the women, but those are girls. Women don't worry about what a man is doing because guess what she know? A man going to be a man. And all men cheat. If I'm not bringing nothing back to this doorstep, don't worry about it if I'm cheating. If I hadn't brought no STD to you, ain't no woman calling the house, don't worry about it if I came home a little later than what I normally call. A man is gonna be a man. And if you focus on being a, a better woman to whatever man you with, I promise you, your actions will supersede his. Thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just the reality. Because guess what? This is a man's world! You know what I'm saying? At all times. You know, and at the end of the day, you still want men to go out here, plow the roads, build all this, and, and the skyscrapers, and, and, and dig into the mud, dig, it, dig even dig into the sewers to make sure that the pipes stay clean enough to keep flushing your fucking toilets. I mean, somebody tell me something. And then you want to sit here and act crazy and shit. Like, we don't do the jobs that actually make society run. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have to get out of this delusion as women about what life really is. You really have to. Because the women of old already knew this information. They already, you know, accepted it. And that's what kept life pushing. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, you dean bats, y'all don't understand. Because guess what? Cause guess what? Hold on. Guess what? If it wasn't for me, you know, if, if it wasn't for me, and I don't know whether you notice or not, but you only have your fucking casino because I made that possible. I'm what counts out here. Let your fucking country clubs or your fucking TV shows. And what is your damage, muscle head? You stupid? You ignorant? Or you just plain old deaf? Somebody tell me something out there. You know. And it is what it is, though, man. Hey, hey, shout out to shout out to Fresh and Fit. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Shout out to Charleston White, Real Talk, Mad Love to all them brothers. You know what I'm saying? Doing anything. 
hey, if you want to check out more, please go to Fresh and Fit's uh, channel and check this out. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a real one right here. You know what I'm saying? It's all over the place. It's, it, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's about that life. Real talk. It's about that life. But hey, though, shout out to all my subscribers at the end of the day. Please like here. Uh, please like. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that share button. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you definitely, if you're new to the channel, you know, always show me some love. And uh, like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line. Hey.